Hello friends, let us learn the CBSC case studies for 2021 examination. Please watch my previous video for continuity. In this video, I will be starting with question number 3. The question reads, Amar, Akbar and Antony are playing a game. Amar climbs 5 steps and get down 2 steps in one turn. Akbar goes 7 steps and comes down 2 steps every time. Antony goes 10 steps up and 3 steps down each time. Doing, doing this, they have to reach to the nearest point of 100th step and they will stop once they find it is impossible to go forward. So here 3 persons are there. So their names are Amar, Akbar, and Anton. So three persons, what they do is, they will climb for five steps and comes down two steps. So effectively, how many steps he has climbed? He has climbed three steps. Same way, Akbar climbs seven steps, comes down two steps. So effectively, he has climbed five steps. Antony climbs ten steps and comes down three steps. Effectively, he has climbed seven steps. So first question is who reach who reach the nearest point? What is the nearest point? The nearest point they have given is point they have given is hundredth step. Hundredth step is the nearest point. So the first question is who reaches the nearest point again? The nearest point means, for example, Amar takes 20 steps, for example. He just uh, takes 20 times. Then overall, he has crossed 100. Right? Let me take 20 times he has uh, crossed and he has crossed 100 steps. But for every 20 times, he has to come down, then 20 steps has to be minus. Effectively, how many steps would have climbed? Only 80 steps would have been climbed again. So, what is the best method to find this nearest point is, we will find with this effective steps itself directly. Let me take, he has climbed for 96 steps. For example, 96 steps he has climbed. So let me take the overall is 96 steps. Yes, 96 is a minimum possible factor of 3 till 100 because I can't take 100 because next he has to climb is he has to climb for more than 100. That is not our nearest point. So next uh, factor of 5 be below 100 is 95. Similarly, next factor of 7 below 100 is 91. I can't take 90, 91 and again 98 is also a factor of 7. But I can't take 98 because to climb 98, you would have already crossed 100. So I can't take 91. Sorry, 98. So the only possible I can take is nearest is 96, 95 and 91. So Among is nearest to 100 now. Amar is nearest to 100. So who has reached the nearest point now? Amar has reached the nearest point. The answer is Amar. Next coming to question number 2. How many times can they meet in between on a same step? Since if I have to calculate the meeting point of all three, let me take these are the three possible way steps each are doing it. Then they have to meet LCM times of their effective steps. For example, all three, the second question, the first question answer is Amar, 
The second question is, so where they meet? All will meet at LCM of 3, 5 and 7 step. That means LCM of 3, 5, 7 step is, so all are uh, prime numbers, so we can just multiply directly. So they are, turns out to be 105. So on 105th step, they will meet. Since my nearest maximum possible itself is 100 step, so they won't meet at all. So answer is D. No, they can't meet in between on a same step. Hope you are understanding the question. So question number 3. Who takes the least number of steps to reach the nearest 100? So, for example, steps in a mean is at a time, Amar is taking three steps. So, this is one step, for example, and he takes some rest and then again he starts climbing it again. So, every time it takes again. So, what is the minimum possible way he takes? He take is 32 steps he take and this guy takes... This guy takes 19 steps. This guy takes 13 steps. So, this guy takes only 13 steps. Which guy? Anthony takes only 13 steps. How are we doing it? We are dividing this with 7. Dividing with 5. Dividing with 3. This is actually one group. 32 groups. 32 into 3 is 30, 96. So this is one group. So who takes the least possible of combination of steps to reach the final is Antony. So Antony takes the least number of possible. So answer is option C. So for the this answer is Amar. That is option A. This option answer is D. None of the this. The answer is. Answer is. C. Antony. So, option 3 is the answer for question number 3. We got to know about it. So, next is question number 4. What is the first stair where any two out of three will meet? So, they are saying now we have to find where all these two people will meet. For example, we have a combination here that is Amar. And Akbar, as I told, they meet of LCM times their effective step. So it is the effective step of Amar 3. Akbar is 5. So LCM times of uh, 3 and 5 is 15. So on 15th step, on 15th step, Amar and Akbar will meet same way come to Amar and Antony or Akbar and Antony let me go with Akbar and Antony same again LCM times they meet it 5 and 7 so which comes to 35th step and Antony and Amar LCM of 7 and 3 that is 21th step they made it. So these are the three possibilities where Amar Akbar meet. LCM you get to know this is again a prime number so we are just multiplying it. If you have any other numbers like even numbers or odd numbers you have to use your prime factorization method which you have learnt in a chapter of real numbers. So that method is fine again. So who is meeting first out of all three? Obviously, Amar and Akbar are meeting at 15th step itself. So the answer is A. The answer is A. So answer for the course fourth question is option A. Amar and, Ak Amar and Akbar are meeting at 15th step itself. Coming to fifth question. What is the second stair where any two out of the three will meet? The first stair is 15th step and the second stair where they meet is at 21th step. Who is meeting? Antony and Amar are meeting. Antony and Amar are 
meeting you don't get confused here because see the option again option there might be 21 step and uh, 35 steps also don't get confused be conscious while writing so option c is correct because it is antony and amor option c so since options are misplaced here don't get uh, confused here okay so option c i'm telling it so correct it it is option c and this is option d here also it is option c here don't get any confused here some print error it is so coming to option c so option c is correct so hope you have understood this five questions please do practice this kind of questions in the previous video we have done with uh, hcf of uh, uh, hcf type of case studies in this class i am teaching you lcm type of based case studies so please do practice and uh, get ready for your examination next question question number 4 ashish supplies bread and jam so ashish is supplying bread and jam to two places hospital and a school bread and jam are supplied in equal number of pieces so bread comes in a bunch of eight that means one pack of bread comes eight pieces and jam comes in a pack of six pieces in one pack there is six pieces and they will each will be supplied in equal number for example they supply like 10 bunches of bread means the same 10 bunches of jam will be supplied again on the particular day ashish has supplied x packs of bread and y packs of jam to school we don't know whatever it is x packs of bread on the same day ashish has supplied 3x packs of bread along with the sufficient packs of jam obviously if it is 3x then obviously it should be 3y also again 3y's of jams again it is known that number of students in a school are between 500 and 550 we don't know the exact number how many students are there they have given that range of students that is 500 to 550 so coming to speaking again here how many number of students the first question is how many number of students are there again what do the combinations maximum number of packs any one can supply is lcm times the bunch of bread as well as bunch of jam here one bunch of jam as one bunch of jam as eight pieces so we have totally maximum possible uh, i mean combinations i can do is lcm times of 8 6 uh, lcm of 8 and 6 we know it we can use any method you want so i'm using directly method that is Four two za and six again, and coming to two one za and three za. So twelve twelve four three two za six six four za is twenty four. So LCM is twenty four now. So these many bunches total number of bunches I am telling it. These many bunches of it includes both bread plus jam. So total bunches of bread and jam is twenty four. That means. so for total number 24 is now any number of students are there again total i'm telling you total bunches and these bunches will have eight bread and six jam pieces then individually we have to calculate it that means so many sets are there again if this so many sets are there then i have to find the factor which can be divisible by 24 so many students are possible again so first question answer is i'll just find out can i divide any number with 24 50 58 is not possible again because we get 22 times 48 and again uh, so 28 is remaining not possible so coming to b option b 50 50 is again 2 times 48 and we have two remaining 24 so one time again we get it again so it's 21 times we get as uh, 504 so option b is possible so there are 504 students in school 
so option b is correct coming to next question how many packs of breads are supplied in the school so i'm telling you to how many packs we have bunches 24 bunches we have again so question number two we have 24 bunches we have supplied and each bunch has eight breads so when you multiply uh, so you have to multiply it eight so we have eight each each has eight sorry sorry we have uh, uh, how many students we have we have five not four students we have and uh, how many bunches of uh, bread as a uh, one bunch as eight pieces so obviously if i divide with eight so obviously eight because uh, we have to we have to give how many bread pieces again we have to give five not five not four bread pieces and this each bread pieces has to be packed into eight 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 in a piece to form one bunch so when you divide five not four by eight we get six uh, again 48 three rem again 48 and three rem two remaining so we get 24 and it is three so we need 63 bunch of bread so option a how many packs of jam we need to supply the same way again so question number three and we need to supply four not four jam pieces and each piece each pack has six pieces so when you divide it we get somewhere uh, again 650 is uh, eight times 48 and two remaining and it is four so we need 84 bunches of jam so option d is correct so coming to how many packs of breads are supplied to hospital again so hospital they are saying that they are supplying three into x that means how many bunches i am uh, bunches i am supplying for uh, school into three times i have to supply the supply the bread pieces obviously i am supplying 63 so into 3 into 63 it gives rise to 189 pieces so option a is 192 pack packets or bunches of bread i have to supply how many packets of jam same way 3x itself so it is 3x so 3x means y equal sorry 3y let me take this is x and this is why they have given that x packs of bread and y packs of bread and they are saying that equal number of breads and jams will be supplied so it is 3y y is 84 so 3 into 84 we have to supply it 3 into 84 packets 3 into 84 packets will turn about to 100, yeah sorry yeah, 3 189 189 packets of jam is required 189 packets of jam in means 189 into 8 189 into 8 turns out to uh, 72 to carry 64 uh, again comes to 1512 again 1500 and uh, 64 7 again it comes to 71 again 7 carry at 15 we get so total pieces of bread is 5112 so 5112 pieces of bread so they say equal number of jams is to be supplied to the hospital again that means we need to supply 512 pieces pieces of jam so 500 pieces of jam means in each packet we have six again so when you do multi divider we get again two times again uh, five times again two times so it is two five two bunches or packets of jam i have to supply so option b hope you have understood the two questions so we are going on to question number five underground water sump is popular in india it is usually used for large water sump storage and can be built cheaply using cement like materials underground water sumps are typically chosen by people who want to save space the water in the underground sump is not affected by extreme weather conditions 
the undergone some maintain cool temperature in both winter and summer and here a building builder wants to build a sump of stores of water in apartment the volume they have given volume in terms of equation as x square x cube x square minus 4x minus 4 so volume is a function of x and they have given it as a cubic equation so we know volume is equal to length into breadth into height so it is a function of three variables length breadth and height now i can replace this v of x as if i take x square out i get x plus 1 similarly if i take 4 out i get x plus 1 so from this both i can take x plus 1 out and i get x square minus 4 this i can make it into the formula a square minus b square which is equal to a minus b and a plus b so i can rewrite this above as x plus 1 x square minus 2 square which turns out to be x plus 1 x minus 2 and x plus 2 so here i can turns out to be as three dimensions x plus 1 x minus 2 x plus 2 here coming to the questions again i have broken the question into uh, normal form that is length breadth and height now we'll read the first question he planned in a such a way that its base dimensions are x plus 1 and x plus 2 what must he has to dig height what how much he has to dig again the height of the sump you have to calculate it the base they have given length into breadth they have given you have to find the height obviously they have given as x plus 1 and x x plus 2 so x plus 1 is out and x plus 2 is out what is remaining here the remaining is x minus 2 then that becomes our third dimension that is x minus 2 option b is the answer coming to question number two question number one we got to know is answer is b x minus 2 question number two coming to question number two if x is 4, what is the volume of the sump? So we know volume function again. They have given x is equal to 4. Then v of 4 is just substitute in the given equation. Given equation that is x plus, uh, sorry, x square into x cube plus x square minus 4x minus 4. Just substitute as 4 cube plus 4 square minus 4 into 4 minus 4 again. So or you can just substitute in this formula also again. 4, 4 cubes, 4 into 4, 16, 16, 4 is 64 plus 16 minus 16 minus 4. So turns out to be 16, 16 cancel, 64 minus, so 60 meter cube. So 60 meter cube is my option. So answer D, 60 meter cube is the total volume. Come to question number 3. Question number three, if x is four and the builder wants to paint the entire inner portion on the sump, what is the total area he has to paint it? Let me take this sump as a rectangle. So as a base, then if you just take it as a knight, it becomes a cuboid. Not cuboid, sorry. It, yeah, cuboid itself. It becomes a cuboid again. So we have six faces over here. Two lengths, two breadths and two bases again. That means whatever is the dimensions we have, what dimensions we have, x plus 1 is one dimension. That is x they have given, x they have given as 4. So it becomes 4 plus 1. And uh, x minus 2, that is 4 minus 2. So it is 2. And uh, x plus 2, that is 4 plus 2 that that turns to be 6 again so since we have two two surface areas with all so then s will be equal to 2 times l plus b plus h which turns to be 2 times 5 plus 2 plus 6 so it turns out to be 2 into 5 turns out to be Sorry, surface areas, huh? sorry, sorry, surface areas, it is LB plus BH plus HL, it is two times. So, length into breadth, breadth into height plus height into length. This is our area again. Turns out to be 5 into 2 plus 2 into 6 plus 6 into 5. So, we get 2 times of 5 into 2 is 10 plus 2 into 
2 into 6 is 12 plus 5 into 6 is 30. When you add it, we get 2 times of 52, which is equal to 104 meter cube. So meter square, meter square. So this is our total area. So option D is the right answer. So 104 meter square. Now we have to find out the capacity, sorry, cost of painting here. So total cost, total area we got is 104. Then we can multiply this is question number 4. We can multiply easily the area into cost per area is 25. That is 104 into 25. We get total price is, uh, you can just multiply it by yourself. So I'm um, 104 into 25. So 20 to carry to 10 into 8, So 0, 10, 1 carry. Again, once again, we have did any mistake over here. Sorry, 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 sorry. 2, 5 is 20. 2 carry 2 and 5 ones are 5. So 2 times 8, 0 and 2 times 2. 0, 0, 1 carry 6 and 2. So it is 2600 rupees. So answer is B. 2600 rupees is the cost of painting. So last question they are asking us to find what is the capacity of the sump again. What is the capacity of the sump again? We know that 1 meter cube of any volume, 1 meter cube, let me take a 1 meter cube, height is 1, length is uh, 1, breadth is 1, can hold 1000 liters, 1000 liters of water. This you have to remember. So 1 meter cube is equal to how much capacity? 1000 liters. So they are saying that we got a 60 60 meter cube so 60 into 1000 so it is 60,000 liters of water can be stored in the above sump so option c is the correct answer be careful so hope you have understood all the problems and wait for the next video and please do watch it like it and subscribe thank you